I have some fake plants today and it's still actively growing as you can see it have live all over the place but we're going to do some fake rooting experiment let's see what can we do with this so first step of course we have to turn those stick into uh, cutting first right so since they are still active grow we have to cut off the leaf that but it might we need to do for the active grow uh, branch we don't have to wait until they are fully dormant for some that are a little sick in five we can use a tiny saw like i have mine here you can use any saw as long as you have uh, don't use pruner when it's too big it's a little tough for your pruner or if you use a, a big pruner it gonna crush all your cutting it's no good idea and here the overview all the cutting that i have been working on it quite a bit i'm not gonna use all of those only pick the good stuff and the stuff that i think i, I can learn from this experiment only okay so now i'm wrapping some of them because that the go-to method so if you want to do root cutting i always recommend highly highly recommend wrapping on top of your cutting but if you have the end tip cutting you don't have to but if you have the middle cut you have to wrap on the tops all right it has been a while that i was uh, wrapping all of the cutting for together day so let me uh, walk you through what uh, i i've been doing and what i'm going to do so this one is the longest cutting i want to see is the the length of a cutting it uh, have in terms of a uh, success rate to root or will it root for this guy is the thicker cutting among all of uh, we working here so i want to see uh, if the thickness of the cuttings it help in terms of a uh, success rate or no this one seems to be a perfect size for cuttings and i intentionally make it a uh, uh, a bit longer than what are the ideal size like a 6 to 10 it should be an ideal length but this one it may be a 13 or 14 inches uh, long and for all of this they are just a perfectly size so this one it, uh, it fully liquefied and the thickness it rather thin but it uh, should be a uh, fine too because it uh, a side of my pinky so it should be uh, thick enough to root and for this guy is a uh, perfectly size it's not too small not too big just perfect for this three cutting it also an ideal length and uh, thickness for root cutting but i do not wrap on the top so let's see if this three how many go to root because uh, i always say wrapping on the top uh, increase the chance of root but let's see uh, with our own eye what is going to happen for this cutting on my left hand side here i wrap on the top but it's not fully uh, lignified wood yet because the the cutting that i got is still actively growing so i also want to see will it uh, root it if it's not fully uh, lignified these four cuttings is fully lignified also but the thickness is just too thin it's uh, way smaller than my pinky size it's uh, smaller than a pencil size so ideally it's not the cutting that you're looking for but uh, i'm going to do the experiment to find out another aspect to consider a perfect cutting is a length right so i want to uh, find out is it uh, true or not because i have a uh, here it super short uh, stump but it uh, it very thick it come from the part that i cut out the the other cuttings so i cut this one out uh, to be uh, this side and wrap on the top and i'm trying to root i have like six seven of them so it should be a, a good amount to do experiment for another three it's not just short it's also very thin let's see how many go into root or none of them but this it fully nickified already so it should be fine and the last cutting on my right hand side here this one is a uh, uh, very similar to the three cutting before that i say this one a uh, thin and uh, short so this one it similar size in terms of look in terms of uh, length but uh, it less lignified so if the uh, lignification of the according it helped with the the success rates we're going to find out
is November 7 so it's one month exactly and some of them already burning out so let's uh, take a closer look first let me look at this uh, tray first and then we finishing with the two bucket there okay let me start walk you through from this side and we work our way up to this side so these four parts on this row they are very thin turning the pencil side or some even uh, smaller than that even thinner than that uh, so far this cutting doesn't show anything but uh, the second one has some uh, budding out the other two also uh, show similar sign so so far the thin cutting seem to be uh, performed just fine for these three parts they are a, a very good size and ideal size but I don't wrap on top of it so the rest of my cutting that I do experiment here all of them are wrapped except these three because I want to uh, show you how uh, how much it uh, affect your uh, success rate just wrap and not wrapping so so far seem to be only one that uh, budding out the other two doesn't show any sign just yet for this two row and plus one behind here nine pot all day they are ideal a perfect size for root and cutting uh, we have one budding out here one more here one more here three all day one more four all day five this one a tiny tiny uh, budding out down there so six this one doesn't show anything yet same thing with this one and this one turn away tricky don't see any uh, body so so far the majority of the ideal side with the wrap on top it uh, take root uh, more compared to the rest of the the cutting now come to the biggest cutting this one is the thickest uh, of all but uh, so far doesn't show any sign of burning or anything so the bigger doesn't mean uh, better at all right meanwhile this one is uh, slightly uh, smaller than that guy but uh, quite a bit uh, uh, taller longer and it seems to be do very good look there's one button here and another one on top here for the last cutting in the tray this is the longest uh, cutting i can make like three if not four cutting uh, from this just a uh, one cutting i do it to just uh, experiment is it that the length that long it really uh, have any advantage over the the shoulder or like a uh, six to uh, ten inches that, that we used to do a uh, root cutting or it's just a waste of a uh, cutting to go that long so so far the longest cutting uh, doesn't show any budding just yet probably it take a longer time compared to the, the shorter the smaller I'm not so sure on this point okay now move on to the other bucket what we have there so in this bucket uh, only two more type for experiment uh, on this side they are ideal size which means the same thing with the this uh, nine part here that uh, has the most success rate um, I put in this bucket because I don't have any more container when I do the rolling cutting so I just uh, put in this uh, five gallon bucket and so far they are seem to be uh, start to budding out also I have one here another one another one uh, like a half of it uh, seem to uh, start budding out now uh, this bucket I will have left outside in the cold some night let cold something like that so it may uh, grow slower uh, this uh, tray here this basket or whatever you call uh, I brought them inside the house so it get less cold so that's why uh, some of it has start to butt out uh, quite a bit uh, more back to this bucket so this one is like a uh, half of it uh, seem to start to grow now for the outer half of the bucket they are uh, green so it the the cutting it uh, the end tip and it not fully uh, lignified when i uh, root it so 
it has some uh, kind of hard wood going on there but it's not a uh, fully not really a uh, recommend uh, for uh, rolling cuttings but uh, out of curiosity i just uh, f uh, try to figure out uh, well, how it going but uh, so far seem to be a uh, kind of middle it uh, seem to uh, stay green and the bud seem to uh, want to grow a little bit not really a so they sign it or oh, it really growing or not really or it's not really a so or it dying now either so it really are too early to call this guy all right now move on to the last bucket so this kind of half of the bucket this much cutting they are kind of funny because they are literally just like a, a short stump let me uh, pull it out i uh, want to show you how it look so it, it literally uh, this long and on top of that uh, all of it note it just the 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 joint of the branch and it look one here two three four five let me uh, pull out another one Oh, surprisingly, this one, it a uh, good size, but just short. It does put out one root. Oh, man. I maybe just <laughs> uh, pick it out. Maybe it going to uh, broke this root and maybe I just keep on cutting. Okay, so if it can put out root like that, it means it about to grow now. So this one like what? three inch or four inches let's say four three inch and a half let's say four inches so if the four inches long can uh, root it means we don't really need a, a the longer one right so that's interesting let me pull out another one there's more root here i try to pull it and I, I broke one of those there you see only the tiny left and there's another one so oh that's it it worries shock me this one so it does take some root so let me try to put it back again okay i don't want to pull out anymore so we already know that it does uh, take a uh, rooting for this recording they also are short like uh, this long similar size or uh, similar length to this uh, guy and on top of it it a uh, very thin uh, let me uh, try to pull out one is it a root or not it doesn't uh, show any uh, grow yet but it's still uh, green and seem to be a uh, uh, need some more time to get uh, going so stuck them back in so the last three pieces here they not just short, not just uh, thin. They also a uh, uh, very green, so it kind of not really a uh, lignify again. But let me uh, pull this one out. Uh, it still uh, look a uh, very fresh, very green, but it doesn't uh, put out any uh, roots or any uh, grow sign. Alright, so it has been a while. These two rows are the ideal size, the perfectly size one, that the one that you're looking for in uh, cuttings. Although grow very well, except this one is a, a little slow, but the rest just spot on. But these three cuttings, they are the unwrapped one. To my surprise, they all root, but with a little catch. They root, but they seem to be slower or later than the rest of the cutting that I wrap. But regardless, they all still take roots. That uh, take me by a surprise because I always say, wrap your uh, cutting, wrap your cutting. At four port here, they are super skinny, the very thin, thin cutting. They also uh, root quite well. That also a surprise. I learned something here. Three cutting in one pot here. They also a thin and short cutting. And they seem to be but out one of those. For the other two, mm, there's no sign yet. But I'm not so sure. And the next pot here, they are the tip ends. And it also, let me check. Uh, they are green and uh, small and thin and short 
this is like uh, the worst scenario uh, for the curtain but it's also a uh, root again and here the perfect size ones that probably the longest uh, cutting that we can go without wasting our cutting right for the biggest cutting uh, it start to uh, popping out its uh, buttons also but it kind of slow also compared to the other but for the longest one it doesn't show any sign of burning that seems to be a, a fail I'm not so sure it because it's too long it like uh, it need a longer time to root I'm not sure and here they are February 1st only one more week it's gonna be exactly four months so it should be safe to say our experiment is done to my surprise doesn't matter how the quality of the cutting long short thin thick short stem lignify and tape middle cut whatever they all take root except the longest one that take for ages and i give up on that so i hope you have learned something from the experiment as i do learn a lot